Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit, where the roads of expert analysis and automotive passion converge. So, seatbelts on, gearheads and auto newbies alike, as we dive deep into the buzzing world of trucks. Now, the Maverick may have won the hearts of many with its purse-friendly price tag, laudable fuel efficiency, and a drive that feels more SUV than heavy-duty pickup. But what if we were to tantalize you with whispers of something even more intriguing on the horizon? Gear up, as the Blue Oval Company is not just gearing up for another revelation, but also resurrecting an iconic nameplate from yesteryears of muscle car grandeur. Yes, you guessed it, the Ford Ranchero. But that's not all. Here are seven riveting reasons why this vehicle is going to be a hit. Number seven, Tiny Dancer. Ranchero's maneuverability. Ah, the Maverick. A compact Titan, boasting of easier navigation in snug spots, especially when contrasted with its longer-bodied peers. But it's almost 200 inches long, essentially rubbing bumpers with full-sized crossovers. With hints suggesting that many Maverick aficionados are venturing into the pickup world for the first time, this might be a tad too sprawling for some. Enter the Ranchero, the nimble steed slated to navigate the urban jungle with Elan. Though exact specifications are under wraps, it's predicted to sport a smaller frame, primed for global markets. Smaller dimensions married with a lighter build promises impeccable agility, making it an urbanite's dream and a pocket-friendly choice for farmers and fleets. Number six, powerhouse in miniature, the efficient powertrain. Power and efficiency are not always mutual adversaries. While the Maverick already champions impressive mileage figures, think 42 miles per gallon city and 33 miles per gallon highway, the Ranchero, thanks to its smaller frame and anticipated weight savings, might just outdo its sibling. Our experts at Piston Pundit predict a powertrain borrowing heavily from its European counterpart, the compact crossover Puma. This includes the zesty 1.0-liter EcoBoost pumping out anywhere from 125 to 140 horsepower. The more powerful 1.5-liter turbo variant from the Puma ST, boasting a robust 200 horsepower, might also find a home in the Ranchero. Electrification enthusiasts, keep an eye out for a potential mild hybrid concoction, leveraging a petite 1.0-liter engine, paired with a 0.5 kilowatt-hour battery and a 15-horsepower electric motor. And for those reminiscing the Ranchero of the 60s and 70s, while we might not see those hefty V8s, expect a beefier option. Perhaps something akin to Maverick's hybrid setup, promising even juicier fuel economy. Number five, electrifying the future, the all-electric version. While the palette of powertrain possibilities has us salivating, let's shift gears and discuss electrification. Europe's been championing the EV surge, with more electric beauties selling than their diesel counterparts last year. And North America, though at a leisurely pace, isn't far behind on this electrifying journey. Given that the Ranchero's blueprint might echo the Pumas, an all-electric avatar is very likely. Picture this, a Ranchero humming silently with a potent 135 horsepower electric motor. And for those thinking it might be underpowered due to its larger size compared to the Puma, rest assured, the Ranchero might come packing with even meatier electric muscles. Battery tech will likely borrow from the Puma playbook, but with more juice, translating to greater miles per charge. Number four, navigating the nexus of technology and safety. Ah, the delicate dance between budget and technology. So what's the Ranchero bringing to the floor? Well, by no means is it tiptoeing around the tech arena. Drawing parallels with its cousin, the Puma crossover, we're expecting a neat eight inch infotainment arena that's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay ready. And though we'll see an analog cluster, a nostalgic nod to automotive tradition, it's going to be surrounded by modern gizmos and gadgets. Safety is paramount, and the Ranchero understands this creed. We anticipate state-of-the-art systems, the likes of automatic emergency braking, pedestrian and cyclist detection, and more. While some of these marvels might be optional, it's clear that the Ranchero is striving for a future where safety doesn't play second fiddle to affordability. Number three, inside the Oasis, comfort meets utility. In today's automobile universe, 
It's rare to see a pickup truck that prioritizes comfort while maintaining its rugged exterior. The Ranchero plans to break this mold. It channels the Puma's aesthetic more than its maverick sibling, promising a touch of sophistication in its interiors. One might argue it's trying to offer the best of both worlds, the utility of a pickup and the suave of a sedan. But before you start imagining plush leather and mahogany, remember, Ranchero's anthem is affordability. So, while the finishes might not challenge the luxury market, they won't disappoint. The Piston Pundit predicts thoughtful ergonomics, interspersed with creative design hacks to ensure that affordability doesn't dilute appeal. It's all about balancing the scales without tipping over. Number two, breaking the molds with cab choices. I've ranted, raved, and reminisced about the glory days of diverse cab styles. And it seems the Ranchero has been eavesdropping on the Piston Pundit. The modern market's fixation on the crew cab style has often relegated the beloved single cab to the annals of automotive history. But the Ranchero might just be penning its comeback story. With its potential single cab layout, we're glimpsing the promise of a more expansive bed, a possible game changer for the small business owner, the hands-on contractor, and the diligent farmer. More space, more utility, and yes, more bang for your buck. However, if you're more about camaraderie than cargo, the double cab, promising to accommodate a quintet of passengers, should be on your radar. Add to this a potential panel van layout specially crafted for European tastes, and we're looking at a global phenomenon in the making. Number one, unraveling the price enigma. Price, the eternal automobile conundrum. The Maverick's upward curve on this front has certainly turned heads, some away from it. This has paved the way for Ranchero to rise as a phoenix, offering hope to those desiring a wallet-friendly steed. Gazing into our Piston Pundit crystal ball, we're drawing from the European Puma's playbook. The prognosis? A tantalizing dip under the $20,000 threshold for the American aficionado. Striking that quintessential balance between engine options and standard features is an art, and the Blue Oval Company has been known to be quite the Picasso in this space. They're not just pitching a vehicle, they're curating an experience that's kind to both your driving desires and your bank account. Piston Pundit's Encore, there we have it. A tapestry of tradition, innovation, utility, and economy, all woven seamlessly into the fabric of the Ford Ranchero. As we ride the waves of automotive evolution, vehicles like the Ranchero are lighthouses, guiding us to shores that promise both excitement and practicality. To all our dedicated gearheads and newly minted automobile aficionados, this is your sanctuary. If the rhythm of the pistons and the hum of the engine resonate with your heartbeat, then the Piston Pundit is where you belong. Don't just be a spectator, join our tribe. Hit that subscribe button and let's journey together through the labyrinth of the automotive world. Stay revved up, stay informed, and above all, stay passionate. Until we meet at the next crossroads, Keep those engines purring.